Hello, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Today's collaboration entitled Show Some Love was put together by Kimberly from the channel Diva Designing on a Dime. Let's go to work. Now I simply want to add some red to my living room and dining room for Valentine's Day. Now I purchased this canister style container from Goodwill about a year and a half ago and I just loved it because it had the mirrors on the outside and obviously there was a floral arrangement in it before because there was a bunch of glue on the inside. So I'm going to do the same thing and use it on my mantle. So here's what we have. We have some recycled styrofoam placed in and two floral bouquets that I got for $8 at Hobby Lobby. I've got some of those rose buds that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this little decorative branch from Hobby Lobby off your clearance rack. And then I just started to just add the flowers. I added one of the bouquets from Hobby Lobby vertically, the other one horizontally across the bottom. And I just started to just insert scraps from old floral arrangements until it became nice and full. Now I really didn't need to put anything in the center of the mantle, but something this small I thought was okay. Inside of this Hershey's Kiss dish is just one of those red glass diamonds that you can buy from Hobby Lobby or you can buy them from Michaels for like four bucks. Okay, now this vignette has crystal glasses, a crystal frame, and of course, topped it off with Dollar Tree silver tray and easel right behind it. It just pushes it forward. I love those trays, and when I see them in different sizes and different shapes that I don't already have, I pick them up. Now, I wanted to buy the red 8-inch LED candles, but I could not find any. So, I had these short red ones that I got from the Dollar Tree along with this potpourri. I left them both outside until the scent was completely gone from them. And then, of course, poured the potpourri in the bottom to cover up a lot of the glue along the base, placed the candle on top, and voila! If you want to know how to make pillared candlesticks from lamps, then check out this DIY. I'll have the link in the comments area. I also added candles to my bird cage. Now for the big red vase that's sitting on my coffee table, I filled it with tea lights. Now I've already uploaded a video on how to make these beautiful rose topiaries using Dollar Tree supplies. So please check out that video. You'll find the link in the comments area of this video. Now that's the tour of the living room and like I said, I did do some hints of red in the dining room on a centerpiece. Now, I've already gone ahead and selected a special Valentine's Day card for my earthly prince. It will be delivered to him on Valentine's Day on a silver platter. Something that I love is a wedding that takes place without a glitch, regardless of sunshine, rain, hail, or snow. They all take place and your family and friends are willing to endure all of them to make sure you have the very best day of your life. And even a mother who deservingly is resting in peace as of February 14th, 1991 at 9.27 a.m. gets all dressed up for the occasion so she can sit right up front next to her baby girl on her wedding day all because of a greater love that none of us could ever imagine or think. Now remember, there are links to all of the participating channels in the comments area of this video. Remember to click, watch, enjoy, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.